Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another video and today you join me on this beautiful country lane, beautiful quiet country lane um, with this canal and on this canal there is a barge and I am here to announce that I have bought a boat and it is a barge and it is behind me. Nah! <laughs> you join me today because, as you can probably guess from the title, we are featuring a brand that hasn't really been around in the collection or on the channel for quite some time. If you actually go all the way back down to my videos, my first ever car review videos many, many years ago, I actually reviewed a BMW X6. BMW X6 uh, reviewed by Mr. Pet, AKA Lord Aleem. If you put that in or something, it might come up. So that was uh, the last time I remember having a BMW in uh, the fleet and the collection. Since then, I have moved on to uh, Mercedes Benz. If you guys are my followers for some time, if you are my subscribers for time, then you will know that we had a lot of fun with the BMW, sorry, with the BMW, I'm already getting used to saying BMW, 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 the Mercedes C63 AMG 507 edition. So that was actually my second car after the VW Scirocco 1.4 TSI R replica, must say, <laughs> I gotta make that very clear now. The C63 came along and I love that car so much. I attended so many car events with it. Uh, we had so much fun. I got so much crazy footage out of it. It was a great community and I kind of, kind of became a Mercedes-Benz guy, you know? I couldn't see beyond Mercedes-Benz. Everything was like, do you hear that engine? Do you hear that exhaust? No, Mercedes, Mercedes. Do you see the interiors? Mercedes. So, rightly so, Mercedes-Benz were well ahead of the time with their interiors and their designs, and uh, I quite liked them. But there was also a strong BMW fan base, and people would always say to me, especially people that were close to me, that BMW is the way to go forward. And um, it wasn't much. Should we just let this guy go past? Da, 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 da. There wasn't much that I was listening. I was always kind of blocking one ear out, wouldn't really listen to them and be like, yeah, whatever, I'm happy with my Mercedes. And there was nothing wrong with the Mercedes as well. Like, you know, Mercedes are pretty cool cars. Uh, but I don't know why people have created and made, made this whole thing like a Mercedes BMW kind of competition. I think that they are two very different types of cars, actually. Um, BMW being built around a racetrack. You know, they say it's the ultimate driving machine. It is the car that, you know, you can drive to the track have some fun, go to the Nürburgring, have some fun, go grab a pint of milk and some bread on the way home and, you know, maybe also pick up the kids or whatever, you know, all in, all in one go. And that is the beauty about BMW. Now, this is something that I've kind of ignored until recently um, when I saw the, uh, the grills, those lungs. Yeah, we're talking about the kidneys turn to lungs and um, everybody was talking about them. And because they were talking about them, it kind of drew my attention. And when it drew my attention, I thought, you know, let me have a look, let me see what BMW are getting up to. And I really liked the fact that they were being bold, they were being brave with their design, they were going against the whole shape that they've been going with for so many years, and they decided, you know what? We're going bigger on the front end. And let's be honest, it has, people don't like admitting it, but it has grown on you. And even if there is gonna be aftermarket front bumpers that change the shape and they make the lungs back into kidneys, I still don't think I would be doing that. So if you guys are gonna come through slating the front kidney grill, um, it's best that you probably sign out of this video right now because we only want positive vibes regarding this. I don't want no uh, Mercedes-Benz versus BMW kind of comments below and you know, a big kickoff none of that please all right so let's keep it clean um, and yes I thought I would let you guys know that um, we're gonna be having some fun on this channel now um, we have bought a BMW M3 the G80 so G80 it is right yeah, yeah G80 EFG yeah so they, they started with the E's and they went to the F then they went to the G's and what's next the H H being hybrid maybe a hybrid M3 or an all electric that would be quite cool uh, well that's not what it's for though right they just randomly name them, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought so. BMW weirdos sometimes. <laughs> okay, so yes, we've ordered a BMW M3. Um, why have we ordered it? Uh, because it looks sick. It looks amazing. And it also has the V6 3 liter. Yep, see, I'm getting it. V6 3 litre uh, twin turbo engine in it. Uh, it still also sounds very good. The Mercedes C63 will be going into, will be turning into a 2 litre, I heard. Yeah, two litre. Uh, 
we'll, we could give that a pass. Uh, let's enjoy what's on front of us before we all have to turn electric. Um, yes, so behind me here is uh, the crew car. This is uh, Salman's car. Salman, this is your car. Would you like to pan it around and show them the beautiful angles of your BMW? I'm only saying that because he's drilled that into me now. Um, every single time we go out on our uh, ventures, we go out on our missions uh, and we're out filming, um, this car has been fantastic. And Salman has time and time again proved to me that this car is fantastic. I think you're a great salesman for BMW, by the way. I'm not just saying that because I think you are 80% of the reason why I'm accepting BMW. Do you know that? Um, you've actually convinced me and made me realize that, you know, you shouldn't be ignorant uh, towards other brands and stop like sticking to, you know, one and being like, yo, I'm just a Merc boy, you know, because you'll miss out on some great machines out there, correct? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so this BMW is, uh, Salman, what BMW is this? Yeah, it's a 3 Series. This is the latest 3 Series, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So could you explain to me why on earth have these got kidney grills? And the M3 has the lungs, huh? And I'm, I'm just, I'm just venting for the people that don't like the lungs, the lung grills. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think deep down I don't like them as well? Maybe. No, I do. I do like them. I like the new design. This, this kidney stuff is old now. Wait, that's interesting. Uh, you have the, uh, you have the kidney grills on the latest. This is a G. G G20. So G20 and then G G80 is the M3 and then uh, the models that go. Again, very comfortable car, very driver focused, um, good build. And um, someone you've had no problems with the car? No. no. It's funny enough that we have this car here in black because my car will also be black. We will be picking it up from BMW Park Lane. So a big shout out to BMW Park Lane for hooking us up uh, with uh, one of the earlier BMW M3s. I will also be placing an order with you guys for the four-wheel drive X-Drive version that will be released later on in the year. For those of you guys that are looking forward to the BMW uh, being on my channel, comment below, give this video a thumbs up and um, let me know what type of videos you expect to see from it. So we're going to do the usual. We're going to do the collecting the car then we might go for a first drive um, then we will maybe even review it might even do an old school review uh, we should head over to the BMW dealership I think maybe have a look at some models that are lying around um, get ourselves a bit more familiarized with BMW because we have one coming in less than 48 hours that's crazy it's crazy right let's make a move hi right, guys so you join me in the BMW 3 Series is a crew car. This is the car that uh, we use this as a tracking car as well, don't we? Yeah. Um, don't know if the Avengers is in shot right now, but uh, cool air freshness you've got going on there, bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> so we're driving over to the BMW dealership now, and this isn't the BMW dealership that I've purchased the, uh, the BMW from. That's from Park Lane, which is in central London, so I'm really excited for that experience as well. Going through the whole BMW experience. Uh, what's their service like? What's their like, oh, it's been great, yeah. yeah. That's all you ever say about being good, isn't it? It's great. It's like uh, I've been watching so many reviews of it as well. Um, there was a uh, Queen Bee, uh, Becky Evans. Uh, so Becky's actually, uh, she was my prefect at school. So yeah, that was interesting. So I was actually watching her review last night on the car and uh, she was struggling to fault it. And uh, I was also watching a few others as well and they were all saying that um, they just seemed to say such good things about the car. Um, it's very difficult to fault it, which is a good position to be in, in a way. Will I be able to fault it? I still do think uh, Mercedes-Benz's interiors are better, though. Do you think? Yeah, like, I mean, I like the fact that there's more buttons in the car that you can actually physically press. Yeah. This is going to be the same layout, isn't it, as the M3? But well, you're going to get a lot more carbon fibre. Yeah, and... carbon fibre, but everything else is going to be the same. Yeah. And all, I can do all the hand gestures and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That would be cool. And what I really like as well about the BMW is this thick steering wheel, this thick sporty steering wheel. It uh, are all the BMWs like this? Yeah. Is the M3 one thicker than this? Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Oh, and BMW. Wow. So I guess that's going to be really cool for um, the track days because when you have a nice thick steering wheel, it feels really sporty. You get a good grip on it as well. Um, there's also a feature on the, uh, the new M3 and the M4, I guess, as well. The M4 is going to be four-wheel drive as well as rear-wheel yeah. drive. Yeah. Um, the M3 um, has a drift rating mode in it. 
yeah which is going to be a lot of fun track days and I mentioned that you know uh, there is a, a lack of track day experience videos on my YouTube channel so this year inshallah we're going to be doing more track days and the M3 will be involved in a lot of them as well as a certain super veloce Jota a very fast car around the Nürburgring I wonder how fast the BMW M3 has been around the Nürburgring Google it comment below comment below how fast the BMW M3 has been around the Nürburgring it is quite a heavy car though 1800 kilograms 1700 kilograms something like that yeah mm, very interesting very interesting powers over 500 brake horsepower so yeah it'll be uh, it'll be good fun to see I, there's going to be a lot of mods available for the car as well so there's going to be you know spacers wheels then you've got the aero kits then you've got all the tuning upgrades the remaps then the M performance kit the with, M performance with, aero kit yeah with the four exhaust at the back yeah the middle yeah. yeah that'll be very interesting that'll be very interesting what I also love about BMW is just the way that they handle bends and I remember taking my C63 507 edition onto the track and uh, it was a little bit wet. Um, I'm not a pro driver at all, um, but I just really couldn't couldn't get it to just plant down the power. Um, I'm just hoping that the BMW can do a bit more of that. So guys, we've arrived at the BMW dealership. I've actually gone and had a little walk around before we thought we'd start filming, uh, but there was literally no point because I couldn't see any BMW M4s or BMW M3s. Um, there was a lot of other model M models there, M5s, X5 M's and stuff, but no M3s. I think there was one M4 on the showroom floor inside, tucked out, but couldn't obviously enter for COVID reasons. Um, but no M3s. So I thought I'd actually ask one of the employees here that were walking around in the car park. I said, have you got any BMW M3s tucked around the back or in the workshop or something that I can have a quick look at? And he said, they don't even have one at their lockup that they have. So that must mean that we are very lucky to be getting a BMW M3 G80. G80, right? Yeah, that's right, G80. So, um, yeah, looking forward to uh, getting hold of uh, my very own BMW M3. Hearing that the local dealership, uh, which is quite a big dealership, hasn't even got one in their lockup must mean that we are very early on onto this wave. So, lots of great content. SP, SP's alright, isn't it? Oh, 812 GTS. So guys, there's actually uh, quite a lot of dealerships around this area. There's a Maserati dealership, a Ferrari dealership, the BMW, the Mini, the Porsche dealership. Um, so I thought I would, um, I would pull into the Porsche dealership and um, see if I can get myself a Porsche GT3 slot. <laughs> so guys, there we have it. A little bit of an unsuccessful mission. Going to the local BMW dealership, trying to hunt a BMW M3, uh, M4. They didn't even have a BMW M3 at the lockup, as I was told. So very lucky to be picking up my G80 M3 in less than 48 hours and you guys are going to be joining me on the journey so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notifications button. Um, also if you haven't watched the man cave videos and what's going on with the build um, then you should do. Head on over and click this video here to work out what's going on here but uh, just to give you an update uh, the steel is arriving soon so that will all be put up and we need to be drilling the foundations in. Um, this is all the concrete has dried up got some very interesting ideas actually the more I look at the space the more I think of the options are are endless really so we're uh, just gonna make sure get that right balance of having a man cave plus uh, a nice display for the hypercar well there we are guys join me on my next video as we go and collect the new 2021 BMW M3 G80 my first BMW M model very very excited to have a dabble in the BMW brand after being a Mercedes guy for so long. Take it easy guys, God bless, bye bye.